Sagittarius, by the way. A Sagittarius, you're being fucking wild, man. Calm down. <laughs> I guess I'm, that's just how I feel. I mean, my moon is in Sagittarius, you guys, so. <laughs> Team Saggy. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to be the tarot reading for Sagittarius, as I just said. And I am shuffling. I'm going to pull a couple oracle cards, okay? And this is going to be for the month of July. I don't know why, but I got October. October just came to my mind. So maybe something's going to happen in October. Um, a card just came out. So I don't know. Be aware something's happening in, in October. Um, I don't know why, but anyways. We could be going on vacation. Because um, you have Angel of Adventure. So something is happening in October, okay? Um, you could be, maybe there's a first, someone's important birthday in, in October. Now I'm getting September, that's weird. Anyways, okay. So one last card for Sagittarius. These two cards, apparently. Angel of Faith. And angel of belief. Angel of now I'm getting like okay. Okay. So now I'm getting like somebody somebody that you cared about around October. In October or the month of September they could have passed away or something somebody important to you has to do within those months yeah um, within those months sorry you guys I just got a little anyways um, so yeah someone important I feel like maybe you could be getting like signs from the universe signs of the universe from the universe okay you could be seeing like a someone that was close to you that passed away is making themselves known and um, they're there to guide you so listen to whatever your gut is telling you or whatever message is, is coming to you a lot of people are like like what's happening like how do I receive a message well the way that you, you receive a message is by like It'll happen out of nowhere. It's not like you're intentionally thinking about something. It just It's a thought that just comes into your head. And you're like... And so it could be some type of warning, okay? So... So I feel like it's like a cry of help. Because this person is trying to get your attention. So pay attention. Be, be on the lookout, okay? That's what I'm getting. Yeah, angel of health. See? Could be... Um, Could be your mom, your your like your grandma, your grandpa, sister, brother. I don't know. I'm getting a lot. Like, it would have to be a personal reading, you guys, for me to like get more in depth. But that's just what I'm getting, okay? So yeah, pay attention to your like whatever messages are coming at you, you guys. I'm really like amazed at Angel. Yeah, so, so this person that is trying to make contact could have like, they could have died because there was something wrong with their health. Okay? Um, because you do have the Angel of Health. So, or maybe pay attention to your health, okay? Don't be excessively drinking, smoking, like put yourself in check. Okay, that's what I'm getting for Sagittarius and only take what resonates you guys okay so I'm gonna go ahead and 
reshuffle my tarot deck now. I swear I talk a lot, you guys. All right. So what is happening? What advice do we have for Sagittarius for the month of July? down like up in your feelings like you guys could be a bit submerged into your like emotions you guys could be a little bit depressed you guys could have anxiety your mental health right now is at stake okay you guys I feel like you guys are just thinking about maybe the past okay the adventures the vacations you would go on with your family when you were younger when things were a more happier time in your life and I feel like that time was was maybe like when you were like a, a preteen you're a teenager you could have been in high school um, your young adult life okay is what I'm feeling and it's like I'm feeling like your family just it's not the same anymore and you miss that you miss those moments from the past okay you miss um, all that great beautiful energy when when we're innocent and we're just figuring ourselves out okay but I feel like you're coming out of that okay I feel like you're coming out of that I feel like you're gonna put yourself in check okay so put your fucking self in check I'm gonna just talk I'm gonna tell you guys how it is okay cuz it's the type of person I am I am and um, I'm a person like I can get depressed okay but I sit there and I'm like I can't fucking sit there and be depressed days on days on days on days like what the fuck is that doing for you that ain't fucking doing shit for you like all you're just doing is wasting motherfucking time and ain't nobody got fucking time like we have we're not here on earth for that fucking long and we can't be fucking wasting our like our days like that okay you need to just like, and I feel like you're doing that. I feel like you're getting yourself in check, okay? And you're realizing like shit, like, like yeah, you can be happy. Like yeah, the past you were very happy, but it, you know, you can be happy yourself now, okay? And it's all up to you. You have control of your life, and I feel like you're you're gonna be manifesting whatever it is that you want that makes you happy. I feel like. You're gonna be very motivated to like get to your goal to being happy okay because you have the ten of wands the ten of wands you see how she's like coming down from the mountain she's had a long journey and she's coming home she's she's already gone through the worst okay the worst has already happened and I'm just feeling like you need to have faith, okay? Have faith and believe. It goes hand in hand, for real. You have, you have faith and you're believing that things are going to get better, okay? And that's the type of energy you need to have, okay? Like, regardless, I feel like every, like, situation that happens, whether it's positive or negative, it's always a learning experience. Okay, how do you see this bottle? I mean, it's not like it, it works. Usually, it's supposed to be half, right? Half, or or filled halfway. Do you see it half full or half empty? You know what I'm saying? It's below, but just pretend <laughs> it's half, right? Like, is it half empty or half full? Like, it's the way that you look at things. And I feel like you're shifting. You're shifting your your mind on how you look at things and that's really gonna help you come out of this moment where you're just 
submerged in so much emotion and so much confusion, okay? I know a, a death, a family death can be very intense. I personally have never gone through it, okay? Maybe a couple people that I cared about, but not that they were like super, 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 super close, so it hasn't really hit me hard. Well, I guess I have, but it hasn't been with like, like a family member, it's been with like a dog. You know, I was really uh, attached to my sister's dog and when it died, I just like, I was fucking like sad for days because, you know, it wasn't my dog, but it was my sister's dog, but it was our dog because I was always around my dog, my sister's dog. I miss him, he's so beautiful. But anyways, that's how it is, you guys, okay? So just know that, you know, like, <sighs> These energies, these people, they're still around, okay? They might not be here in the physical, in the physical, but they're here spiritually and they can hear you. So whenever you feel a certain type of way, you know, call out to them. Make a prayer wherever you are. Give me a sign and I'm pretty sure they're going to give you a sign because I believe in energies. We're energies and we're very, you know, um, we're beyond this dimension. And um, one day we're going to be reunited again, whatever you believe in, but we are. And they're going to be there, okay? They are always there. So keep a positive mind, have faith, and believe that everything's okay. And, you know, see? It's like she's reminiscing on the past, on this person that has passed. Wear their favorite t-shirt. Go out and do something in their in their name. Like they're watching you. Now I want to get emotional. I want to get emotional, you guys. But anyways, that was your reading, Sagittarius. I love you guys. And stay safe, okay, with the whole virus situation. Spend time with your family. The way to the best way to get out of like being depressed is hanging around hanging around people that have good energy. So people that love you. Cook something, invite somebody over, do something nice. The energy that you want, you have to be able to give out, you guys. So stay positive. Positive and I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.